I am the youngest of seven brothers and three sisters. And when I was 10 years old, my mom, she died from breast cancer. And not until her death did I know what she died from. It wasn't discussed. Then my oldest sister was diagnosed with breast cancer, and so was my dad. And then there were two brothers, two sisters, a niece. Now that's a lot of people. The first time I heard genetic testing spoken to me was when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I saw a specialist and after she heard about my family history, she said to me, go get tested for the BRCA2 mutation. I was like, okay, let's do it. They told me the gene that I carried was connected to other cancers. And so when I received the information, I shared it out with my family. But some of my brothers and sisters, they just didn't act. I think the issue for some of my family members was having access to get tested. Then there were some who said, well, when they talked to their doctor about getting it done, it was like a certain amount that they had to pay. And some people, honestly, some cannot, could not afford that copay. But as years went by, more people in my family did talk about it. Now, when we're together as a family, I always bring up the conversations. And the younger ones are now more receptive to doing it. They want to know. And they're talking about it, but they got to do it. They have to take action. <laughs>